Hello Libra, thank you so much for coming to Echo, Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be your reading from April 1st to April 4th, 2021. Thank you for all the support on the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. At 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away a deck of my cards, a brand new deck, so stay close to figure out how to enter that um, drawing. we got a little bit more numbers to get high before I do that, but just letting you know. So the oracle cards are here, which are all for you. The tarot cards over here, which are the energies around you. So take what you can use and leave the rest. Feel free to vice versa, the masculine and feminine energies. And you'll show up over here as well. So the first one is smooth and easy. So Libra, there's going to be some sort of ending that's going to be easier than you anticipate it to be. The F word, 30. So there's some sort of forgiveness. They're asking you to forgive when the ending comes to so not hold on to any negative energy. To forgive and release whatever this is going to be. And baggage be gone, 17. So there's something that is going to relieve you of duty, so to speak. You're going to be happy when this ends. And you're going to forgive and you're going to release a lot of baggage, which is going to be good for you. Something's going to come full circle. So the next one for you is Four of Coins. So Four of Coins talks about somebody being blocked off with their love. Their heart's not open and they're not open to um, reaching out to people. So Two of Wands is making a decision concerning other people. This is um, not just concerning yourself and somebody else. There's other people involved where you have to make a decision. So Queen of Cups is somebody very loving, nurturing, a lot of intuition. And then Three of Wands. So Three of Wands is somebody having choices, new directions to go in. So Death. So something is ending so you can go in a new direction. And we have the Smooth and Easy here and it's clarifying the Four of Coins. So I do feel like you being guarded and shut down is going to end and you're going to move into um, a happier vibration. So Knight of Cups is a knight coming in to say they're sorry. They're apologizing. So we have the knight and the queen. Could be an age difference here. And then we have the emperor. So the emperor could be Aries placement. This could be somebody who's a father figure. This could be somebody who's a boss. Self-employed. Somebody who likes to be in control. So the chariot. The chariot is a new beginning. Going in a new direction. Travel. I do see travel clarifying the three of wands. And then judgment. So there's some sort of judgment taking place where three people, um, probably was three people that you walked away from. So there was something concerning this ending that involved three people that you finally passed judgment and said, I can't deal with it anymore. So nine of coins is your big picture, your security, your happiness. So I feel like um, you're going to feel good when this night comes back in to offer an apology. So Seven of Cups. So Seven of Cups is clarifying the Emperor. So there's something in the past concerning a father figure, a job figure, a job situation that keeps you looking back on it. You're stuck in the past around a job or a father situation. So the Empress. So the Empress talks about forgiving yourself for something or somebody younger than you is watching how you handle something going I do see a new beginning, so I do feel like you're going to go a new beginning and you're going to forgive yourself and move forward, Libra. So Nine of Wands. So Nine of Wands is you having like a warrior stance where you had to fight really hard to get to where you are and in no way are you going to release that easily. So I feel like it has to do with you empowering yourself. So the next one for you is Nine of Earth. So it's clarifying the Nine of Coins. So something about your big picture is looking stable. You have stability coming to you from your future. And then you have Four of C. So Four of C is somebody being depressed about something from the past. Somebody gets depressed about something in the past. A lot, Libra. So Five of Sky. Five of Sky is you defending yourself. So I do feel like because it's clarifying the Empress, that somebody's watching how you defend yourself to other people. Somebody younger. So Six of C. So there's a lot of crying, a lot of tears. Something you really had to fight for that made a lot of people cry that you went through it is what I feel. 
So Earth King. Earth King is the universe sending something or someone in to help you be successful and get to your, your big picture. So Ace of Fire. So Ace of Fire talks about a warning of being depressed. Don't be depressed too long. Don't go around people who make you feel like you have to defend yourself. You'll get that funny feeling like, oh, I shouldn't go see these people today. And the next one is Six of Earth. So Six of Earth is generosity. I feel like there's tears concerning somebody who helped a lot of people and they're not helping them anymore. Or they've drawn back from people. And then Ten of Earth. So we have another generosity card where the universe is sending something in to help you, Libra. They're sending a helper in to help you regain your um, stability and your happiness, your calmness. So Sky Kitten. Sky Kitten is immaturity. So they're warning you that there's going to be immature energies around you. And then stars. Could be Aquarius or Leo placement. But somebody is wanting you to defend yourself about your dreams or your choice of love. So the next one is Three of Sky. So Three of Sky is third party situation, mischievous friends, a betrayal in love. Good kitty. So Libra, you're getting the good kitty that says that you have put good positive energy out in the universe helping other people and it's going to come back to you. So then you have the priest. So the priest talks about being grounded, being protected, knowing um, what your knowing your intuition kicks in a lot. Knowing you have really strong intuition and you can manifest what you want your life to be like. So eight of earth. So eight of earth is people who have a common denominator. These are people who do the same thing. So I just feel like you're going to meet up with people who have the same dream as you or something about you. You're going to meet people like you in some sense of the word. There's going to be people like you or they're going to look up to you for something that you're good at. So the first one is strength three, which is Leo placement. So you have a lot of strength concerning what's going on around you right now. The next one is truth, 25. So they're asking you to be truthful concerning your heart. Your heart got hurt, your soul got hurt, and they're asking you to be um, honest and strong. So relief, 22. So it's clarifying the baggage be gone. So there's some sort of hardship that you are ending and leaving behind you that's going to set you free. It's going to relieve a lot of stress off your shoulders, so to speak, and you're going to go in a new direction that is more suited for you. So you are healing. You're going to release something very powerful. I feel like it's around friends or third-party situation. So the first one for you is Love Where You Are 24. So this talks about you use your sensitivity to know and to act, connect your head to your heart. So when you don't know what to do, you don't do anything at all. And when you know what to do, it will just come to you. This is the giant clam. The giant clam knows how to deflect negative energy, which means you have an insight when negative people are around you or when somebody's coming at you angry, you know it before they actually appear in front of you angry. You get a feeling. So 23, distinctive potential. So this says, rely on your faith and the knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang in there until you find a goal. This is the narwhal whale, and this is their left tooth. And it looks like a unicorn, um, but it's not a unicorn. So this talks about, again, there's people like you where you're going around people that are like you. There's something about you that in your dream that is going to attract people to you, Libra. That people are going to be like, oh my gosh, she's like me, or he's like me. He likes the same thing I like. Something like that. And it's going to be change. So yeah, you have a big change. So shallow and master, be graceful and with movement and action. So this talks about something good coming for you. Something that's going to balance out your energy. They want you to keep your self-balance. So when you come across negative energy, go around the energy. Don't sit and confront it. And this kind of clarifies the giant clam. It's all about connecting your head to your heart and staying ahead of negative energy. So stay away of the broken heart feeling that you feel. You're going to feel the relief. It's going to balance out. And then eagle, set, see from a higher perspective. 
So you have be graceful in movement and higher perspective. The eagle you see has its talons spread in its wings. I feel like you're getting ready to embark on something that is going to be really prosperous for you. Something that is going to, that you have intuition about that's going to help you heal. And it's going to just catapult you forward into a very um, happy lifestyle. So thank you so much, Libra. Bless you.